Hello everyone, welcome back to Karim Bass GTA. Today we are diving into the brand new Ludendorff Cemetery Survival in GTA Online. So Rockstar has dropped this haunting new survival mode and it's packed with action. I got 6 minutes of intense gameplay battling through waves of enemies, including some crazy new creatures. Can I survive the possessed animals, armored undead and more? Stick around to find out. Right from the start, the Ludendorff Cemetery throws you into an interesting atmosphere. This survival mode takes place in the same graveyard from GTA 5's prologue, but now it's filled with waves of terrifying enemies, the spooky fog and creepy gravestones, and dark shadows create the perfect battleground for this new content. You'll need to be prepared because the enemies here aren't your usual street thugs, in this mode you will be facing possessed animals, armored undead and even the mages that can poison you from a distance. Trust me, things get insane real quick. Let's talk enemies. On early waves you'll run into possessed animals such as deer, coyotes and boars. Each one scarier than the last. These aren't your typical wildlife though. When they attack they cause bleeding which drains your health for a few seconds. Make sure to keep your distance or they'll make quick work of you. And if you see from the footage I can't emphasize enough how fast and dangerous these things are. They can sneak up on you and before you know it you're bleeding out. Definitely one of the creepiest new enemy types. Now as we get into the tougher waves you start seeing the armored undead. These guys are tanky covered head to toe in a ballistic armor and later on they'll take multiple explosives just to bring down. Some even come with fury and explosive variants which makes things 10 times more dangerous. The fury on that will ignite you if they get too close and when they die they explode like a molotov settling everything on fire. And if that's not enough, the explosive ones send out an EMP pulse when they get close or when you kill them. It's a nightmare trying to deal with them in the heat of battle. Now here's something you don't see every day in GTA, mages. These undead sorcerers stay back, but don't think that you're safe. They use their cursed staffs to generate poison gas clouds around you, forcing you to move or suffer. Not only that, but they are surrounded with poisonous gas themselves, making them tricky to deal with. As you can see, this mage is putting me in a tough spot. You can't camp or hold your ground for too long, because the poison gas forces you to stay on the move. These guys are super annoying, but if you can get close enough, they go down fast. Eventually you'll get into the last wave and it's absolute chaos. We've got possessed animals, armored juggernauts and mages all coming at once. It's do or die time, every move matters and I'm using every weapon at my disposal to survive with my associates. And there it is after surviving all those waves I finally come out on top in Ludendorff Cemetery. This survival mode is no joke but the variety of enemies and the constant pressure make it one of the most exciting challenges GTA Online has to offer. So what do you guys think? Are the possessed animals and armored undead as creepy as they look? Let me know in the comments below if you tackled this survival mode to wave 10 at least. And don't forget to smash that like button if you enjoyed the video, subscribe for more epic GTA Online content and I'll see you on the next time on Karimbas GTA. You can now enjoy the remaining footage of the cemetery survival.